Hey guitar players, Christian Ross here. Today we're gonna to talk about the A minor chord. This is one of my favorite chords to play and one of my favorite keys to play in. There's just something really magical about this chord, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. First of all, we're gonna learn how to make the chord, where to put our fingers on the fretboard, and then we'll learn the notes that actually make up the A minor chord and some other places that we can find it on the fretboard. So again, like my other videos, let's take our fretting hand and we'll use our thumb our index or pointer finger, middle, ring, and pinky, okay? So let's take our index finger, we're gonna put it on fret one, string two, okay? So fret one, right here, string two, we'll count one, two, okay? So we'll put our index finger right here. Now next finger, we're gonna take our ring finger and we're gonna put it on fret two, string three, okay? So let's count fret one, fret two, we'll count up string three, one, two, three, okay? So, so far, it's looking like this. Next, we're gonna use our middle finger and we're gonna put it on fret two, string four. Okay, so let's count it. One, two, and then we'll count our frets. One, two, three, four, our strings rather, excuse me. Okay, that is the A minor chord. All right, we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna strum from the fifth string down. So let's count one, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you're there, let's go ahead and strum. Squeeze the chord, make sure it's nice and firm, and we'll strum down. Beautiful. Okay, so some things to remember when you're making this chord. Let's go ahead and take our hand off. We'll make it again. Let's use our index finger again. We'll put it on fret one, string two, right here. Now, you want to make sure that your fingers are as close to the front of the fret as they can be without being right on top of the frets, okay? Again, these silver pieces here, they're your actual frets. So you don't want your finger right on top of it, or it's gonna sound like this. Okay, you don't want it too far back, or it's gonna sound like this. You want it right here, okay? All right, then we'll take our ring finger again. We'll put it on string three, fret two. So string three, one, two, three, fret two, one, two. Okay, so we're gonna put it right there again. Okay, again, we'll put our middle finger on string four, fret two right above it, right here, okay? So, if yours looks like this, then you've done it right, okay? All right, so again, we're gonna strum from the fifth string down. We'll take our thumb, we'll count up the strings, one, two, three, four, five. All right, if you got that, squeeze the chord, make sure your fingers are as close to the front of the fret as they can be. And um, they're gonna be a little bunched up right here, but that's okay. You know, you just make some adjust adjustments, make sure they're looking good, and we'll go ahead and strum down. All right, and that is the A minor chord. All right, guys, so what notes actually make up the A minor chord? Okay, so I had a buddy ask me about this the other day. He said, man, you kind of lost me in this. What do, you, what do you mean notes? So in every chord, it starts with a triad, okay? So we've got three notes that make up these chords, especially minor chords. Now you'll see, you'll see chords where you can play uh, fifth chords, which are the one and five. You can play thirds, which are the one and three, um, you know, so forth. You can play two note chords, which are fine. But what we're talking about are triads, which are three note chords. Okay, so the, the notes that actually make up this chord are the A note, the C note, and the E note, okay? A, C, E, or ace, <laughs> A, C, E. On a piano, you would play it linear, side to side. You play A, C, and E. The fun fact about the A minor scale is it actually uses all the same notes as the C major scale. So the A minor scale is a relative minor to the C major. C major is a relative major to C minor. Um, that might be sound a little crazy, but just store that back in your head somewhere for later on. Uh, it'll come in handy, I promise. Okay, so what how do we get A, C, E? What, is, what does that even mean? So the A note is the first note of the A minor scale, okay? So we've got A right here, okay? C is the third note of the A minor scale, A, B, C, okay? See how that sounds kind of, not dark, but a little mysterious? It's because it's a minor scale, not a major scale. A major scale would sound like this. It sounds happy, that's A major. So the third note of A major is C sharp. A, B, C sharp, okay? Third note of A minor, if we lower the third, we drop the third one half step to, okay? Now the fifth note is E. So we've got A, 
C and E, the one, the three, and the five. Okay, the first note, third note, and the fifth note. One, three, five. notes, how is that working together to make up our A chord, our A minor chord? Well, I'll show you. So our first note here, when we make our shape, again, let's make it, okay, just like that, is our first note's going to be A, okay? This open note right here, this root note is an A. Our second note is an E, okay? So that's the one and the five, okay? Our third note is going to be an A again. So we've got an octave, one five octave, okay? Our, what is that, fourth note is gonna be a C. If we're playing A major, that C would be a C sharp. Hear that? See how happy that sounds? But now, because it's minor, we're lowering the third. We're actually in a minor scale, we lower from the major, the third, sixth, and seventh, okay? One half step. Okay, so let's go ahead and lower that again. We'll put our index finger down. Okay, now the last note here that we're going to play in this chord is an E. Okay? So we've got A, E, A, C, E. All right, one more time. A, E, A, C, E. And we're strumming from the fifth string down. Now, this... Note here, this low string, this low sixth string, that's an E. So technically it's in the chord, but it wouldn't be in the root note position of this chord. So it, it puts the, uh, the fifth in the root note position, and sometimes it just sounds a little muddy. So technically you could play it, especially if you're using your fingers. So I'm just gonna freestyle this. So we've got A. gypsy feel there. So you see the E, this note E, because it's the fifth note of the A minor chord or scale, it works. Okay, so again we have A, C, A, C, and E. All right, and those notes make up the A minor chord, all right? So some other places that we'll find A minor on the fretboard, of course, we've got this shape here. Then you can play this shape right up here. You can play here. You can play here. See, I'm just adding in notes. You can play here, okay? You can play all the way up here, and I don't have a cutaway, so it makes it kind of difficult. Okay, you could actually play up here, blah, blah, blah. You could play here, you could play here, okay. Uh, you could play like this. So there's lots of places that you can play the A minor chord all over the fretboard and just have a blast doing it. So uh, again, it's one of my favorite chords, as you can probably tell. I've written a lot of songs in A minor. It just has a great vibe. There's been a lot of great songs written in A minor. Um, and so use it, have a blast with it, and I hope that this video helped you. And if it did help you, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. I have videos coming out every single week. So as always, keep playing, and I'll see you out there on stage.